we are here to celebrate the achievements of our group, celebrate the achievements of a very unique group of women who were the very first Great Britain women's squad to be selected, which I think is an amazing achievement. And for some it came, in fact for all of us it came as a surprise. But now we know I think it's a fantastic achievement in 1965. When we started this work, the common belief, from, certainly on the women's TV side, that was the first Great Britain women's squad, women's squad was in 1978, running into the Moscow Olympics. That's when the first time GP women had a team. And of course, there are some of you who were part of that squad who are in this room. Um, Marilyn Pugh, Sheila Morrow, Mark Neville, Shirley Ellis, Pam Williams, to name a few. Sadly, you lot are no longer the first GP squad. <laughs> the time will come for a cat presentation the rollout of women's caps is now coming, and we will no, no doubt be offered an opportunity to present it in the near future. But we thought the honour for the first presentation should go to that, what we now know to be the very first GB Women's Team in 1965. The first discovery that this team even existed was when we found a blazer in the Dublin Library, University, Dublin City Library Archives, and it was donated by Joan Bourne, who was art, the Irish pair. Sadly, Joan was one nil this week and couldn't come over. And I'm sure we could all send our best wishes to her and we'll find a way of getting a cat to her. This was followed up by a second blazer that was donated um, by uh, Valerie, who's sitting over here from Scotland. And she donated some photographs as well. And at this point, we now knew there was a, not only was there a GB team, but we, had, we knew who was in it. So basically, the sleuths are out now to find this team. And with the help from many of the players and our colleagues in America, we put together the full scope of that team. And the verification came with a letter, in fact, I talked to Giles today, his mother had, which basically said this team was authorised and selected by the Great Britain and the Women's Hockey Board. So it had an official status, and the Americans counted it as an official match. So, hey, Presto, we now have. GB caps for a set of people who at the time didn't realise that they were receiving their caps. So I think that's fantastic. 